Today I'm working on two canvases for the Rangers. It's a commission piece. So I'm just painting the canvases with a red. I was just going to do the outer edges, but I had so much extra paint that I just did all the way around. Now this is my layout that I'm painting my numbers that I'm going to use. Uh, blue, and then later I realized and painted a couple of them red that I wanted for uh, Nolan Ryan's numbers, 34. Now I'm just adding my first layer of the background with some scrapbook paper and some ephemera, and then I'm going to add a quote and some photos. and I'm putting the letters in. Those are the letters I put red paint and then this is my cutout of Nolan Ryan and Pudge Rodriguez. Now I'm doing the other canvas, same thing. I'm gonna adhere my scrapbook paper for the background and the photos that I chose. and I realized that I got the wrong photo so I switched it out quickly and then I'm adding the cutout of Pudge and then I added the little love and the numbers down the side give it a coat all over and then I'll let that, I'm just uh, poking a few little holes where I had some air bubbles now I'm going to use my favorite Castell markers and the pit pens to add some drop shadows with a gray and then I'm going to paint Pudge and Nolan and unfortunately the part with Nolan Ryan did not record but you'll see at the end how he came out. Over the gel medium, you have a little bit of time. These are permanent markers or with India ink, but you have a little bit of time to move them around. So you'll see me kind of smudging them with my fingers, and occasionally I'll use a baby wipe and wipe it back. And I'm just using the reference photo just to kind of help me work a little faster today and I'm just using a light gray to sketch in where I want and then I'm going to take it up a shade and then finally I'll take it up with a third shade of gray and I'm just adding in some of the wrinkles to give the shirt movement Now I'm going in with my la third gray, the darkest value. It's not the darkest value I have. It's the darkest one I'm going to use. And there was just like a black shadow cast in there that I went ahead and put in. And now I'm working on the suspenders. And I just kind of sketched them in gray first. And then I'm filling them in with the navy. And I'm adding the gloves that are in his pocket and the strap on the back of his pants holding his knee pads on. Now I'm at coming back in and adding a little bit more detail on the flesh now that it's dried. This is a cinnamon color that I like to use a lot of times. I'm going to add in some of the, there's very little facial detail. It's really just kind of a suggestion. Even in the photo, it wasn't very uh, clear. 
So I'm just adding in those shadows. And then I start on Nolan's face. And I'm going to use the gray again to kind of fit his name in and the number. I ended up moving the number in a few minutes because I realized that there was a part that came out from underneath the suspenders that was the bottom of the seven so that I had the placement wrong. So I shift it and you'll see that I come in with the baby wipe and just take that out while it's still wet. I'm not removing the gray in the shirt. It's just removing that blue. And then I'm just using a little bit of red that was around the outside of the letters and the numbers. And here's a view of Nolan when he was done. So now I'm going to paint Pudge Rodriguez on the second canvas. And I did not have a pit pen for the red that was a broad tip. So I'm using a combination of a zig marker, which is not permanent. And then over the top with the fine line red and a little darker uh, Indian red to kind of add my shadows in. And I just have to be real careful that not that red will lift up and bleed when I go and put the gel medium on if I'm not careful. And you can see that I've altered my photo just to kind of help me again with the proportions and then I switch to a script or a medium tip pen to work on the details of his face and I'm going back in and adding some cast shadows Now I'm going in with a darker red and getting the folds. I had to let that red kind of set up and dry. And then same with the hat. Just to give it a little bit more three dimension. And some white highlights back in.
now I'm repeating the process with the grays and I'm struggling with some of this red is in my way and adding a little patch that's on the side of his uniform and then I'm going to use the same process on his pants some of it is off camera since I had zoomed in unfortunately it dropped down and I didn't realize it and then I'm adding some of the details that are visible from the background and some of the red pin striping which you'll see here in just a second and then I added in the red for his knee pads for his shin guards and I'm coming in and darkening it and adding there was some like gold rivets and some white touches that are hard to see on the camera but you can see them when you're looking at them close up and some highlights again And then one of the last things I did after I painted him was go around with the grays and give some drop shadows. And you have to be real careful again, like if you don't use permanent markers, this won't work. And I had to um, put the gel medium on kind of heavy not to smear the red. But at the end of the video, there is a picture of both finished canvases. And thanks for watching.